Hey guys, Nubovar73 here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Skyblock. Uh, I may start just calling it the Void Lands, because that's really what the, the map author called it. Um, when we were last here, we had the giant massive tree, which is still in the process of decaying, uh, which was very, very generous to us. So we've got two objectives today. Um, one is to go ahead and build a platform that mobs can spawn on. The other is going to be a little bit of a surprise. So let's get to it. Now, as you know, as, as everyone knows, or everyone should know, um, in order to get mobs to spawn, you have to be more than 20, I think, oh lord. See, I'm going to say this and then someone's going to be like, no, you're wrong, it's off. But you have to be more than 24 blocks away, I believe. So, in order to even get there, I have to have more than 24 pieces of cobblestone. And then I have to have enough to actually make the platform. So, we're going to go ahead and make some cobblestone. Hopefully, get more than we lose, because that would be a good thing. Have that little collection area underneath this stone. I like that. And this sapling still has not decided to respond to anything yet, probably because it got intimidated by that other one. Whoa, okay. Okay. So... As you guys probably know, I tend to record my episodes in sort of a burst. So even though this is the third episode, it's probably going up at the end of the week um, from when the first one went up. This is still the same day for me. So I want to tell you guys about a little, uh, a little something fun that happened to me today. Um, earlier today, I woke up. Um, and we decided, or, well, not, we, we didn't decide this today, this was the plan. Um, I, oh man, I'm horrible at telling stories, just so you know. It's not my strong suit at all. Um, now I have four dogs, and you guys may remember the, uh, the April Fool's video I put up, uh, showed me, you know, feeding the beast by giving my dogs bread. Um, well, they were all four of them kind of behind on their rabies shots and because I'm not yet rolling in the YouTube money uh, I hadn't had a chance to get them by a regular vet to get their uh, rabies shots so I, we found out that they were doing a uh, sort of a low-cost vaccination thing at a, uh, a fair that was going on so we decided to go ahead and just take all four dogs and get it done and it was gonna be uh, me and Zoe and also my mom because my wife is still actually recovering from surgery so <laughs> we got up this morning and the intent was to leave early because I know these things always you know they always are packed by the time you get there if you don't get there early you're either gonna be standing in line for a long time or you're gonna find out they already ran out of vaccination because you know they only have a certain amount this is a a charity thing so you know the intent was to get up early and uh, try and, and beat the majority of the crowd now it was supposed to start at 10 and we got out and we're actually at the location at about 940 unfortunately uh, apparently everyone else is wise to the fact that these things get very busy very quickly because everyone else had the same idea of getting there at about 940 so the line was already long um, now <laughs> me and Zoe were standing there holding the the four dogs between us you know I had two she had two and, and our dogs aren't huge uh, I've got two somewhat medium-sized dogs and two little dogs and then the the little dogs are one's a Papillon and the other one's a Chihuahua so they're not exactly challenging to hold on to. Uh, but the two bigger dogs, are uh, one is uh, part corgi, part lab, and the other one is 
part Lhasa Apso and part Pug. Now, the Lhasa Apso Pug, her name is Sophie, and let me tell you, she got most of her body structure from the Pug side of her family because she is built. She weighs about 35 pounds, and she is all muscle. Um... And she's a good, you know, she's a good dog. She she doesn't try to to jerk and run away a lot, but she does, she does like to check things out. And you know, as like any other dog out there. And when you get her around a bunch of other dogs, of course, she's gonna want to either run away from them, or run up to them and uh, and say hello. And and Maddie, the uh, the corgi lab mix, is basically the same way. She's just more of a more of the uh, say hello than run away type. So I was holding those two dogs. And long about 10.30, uh, Zoe got a call from her grandmother. Uh, it, she had had plans to go you know, meet her and go to some other function. And we had thought we would be able to fit you know, both in. We'd be able to get the vaccines done. And then she'd be able to go to, with her grandma to the other event. Well, she was supposed to be over at her grandma's at 10.30. And it was 10.30 and we were still at the very back of the line. So she ended up leaving with my with my mom, uh, and that left me standing there with all four dogs. <laughs> oh, poor poor guys. They they were they were very good. Um, but at times I wondered if I was going to end the day with two hands because I I ended up with uh, one big dog and one little dog in each hand. And the only way to really control them was to wrap the leashes all the way around my hand multiple times is so that I could, you know, keep them on a tight leash. Uh, you know, no pun intended. Um, but that that left them pretty tightly wound around my hand. And, you know, it's just standing... It, it just seemed kind of absurd to me standing there holding, you know, all four dogs on in between my two hands just completely restricted movement wise and the funny thing is you know we ended up paying five dollars per dog for the vaccines um but we also st ended up standing in line for just under three hours so by the end of it i'm thinking to myself was this really worth it i mean we didn't we paid in <laughs> we paid in in time and effort what we didn't pay in money which, unfortunately, if you don't have a lot of money, that's pretty much how it always ends up being anyways. It's a, you know, if you didn't already know that, then be aware of that. It's, it's generally one or the other. You're going to pay one way. <laughs> You're never, there's no easy, I guess what I'm trying to say is the old cliche of there's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and... Let's see. Oh, thank God. That rain is just obnoxious. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Okay. So I've got 24 in my hand. I'm just going to carry this bridge out 24 spots, and then I'll start building a platform. It's not going to be very big at the beginning, um, because I also want to make sure I put some restraint around it because I certainly want mobs to spawn but I don't want them to wander over and say hey how you doing and thankfully this is still during the day okay um, okay so we're gonna go ahead and just go around the side here Four on each side. That should be, that should be plenty big enough to start with. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do six back. All right. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And then this should be. 
I love that, by the way. That that thing where it pops the the next stack into your hand when you run out, that's just so useful. And I wish I wish that were a vanilla Minecraft thing. I really do. Because, like, in that situation, I would have had to go in, into my inventory, and I probably would have forgotten that if you're crouching and you're on the edge and you go into your, into your inventory, you're no longer crouching, so you're going to fall. So I probably would have fallen, probably would have died, and that would have sucked. So thank you, FTB dude who came up with that. That's awesome. I don't even know what mod that's in. All right. Now, for the time being, we can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, whoa. Okay. That way they really can't get around that to this walkway without falling off and dying. Uh, so let's head back over here. Why you no grow? You're frustrating me. All right. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to do today is actually going to require a minium stone. So I'm going to grab that. And these. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to make some more dirt. I need three more pieces. One, two, three. There we go. Doesn't matter that they're grass blocks. And then we're going to take this with us. Now. I'm going to put these saplings like that. And... Now, I've heard that this works. Hopefully, I was not lied to. Mm. Now, is that a... Is that a... I can't tell what kind of sapling that is. That's spruce. Okay, let's do this then. Birch. Jungle sapling, that's what we want. Okay. There we go. Oh, come back here. Oh, God. If that thing went over the edge, that would just be... The, that would be the end of the series, to be completely honest with you. All right. Now, hopefully this works the way I was told it would. And thankfully this isn't 1.5.1. Or else, this would take probably way more than one bone meal. Boom! There we go. <laughs> I'll never need for wood again. The problem, the only problem is I have to wait for all these uh, vines to grow on their own before I can get to the top of it. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff away. And the sun is going down, so I'm going to spend the rest of the time here getting some more cobblestone. Now, in order to make that block breaker that I was talking about, of course I need some iron. I'm going to need a total of four pieces of iron, three for the iron pickaxe, and one... Whoa, come back here. And one for, oh, for the... Um, okay, that's gone. I'm, I'm not going to continue pursuing that. Uh, oh, hello, tree. You know, now you feel all inadequate, don't you? Uh-huh. I can grow, too. Now I need uh, uh, three pieces of iron for the pickaxe and one for the piston. Uh, but I also need two pieces of redstone. Now, I am pretty sure that I can use the other thing that came with me, came with this, the alchest, to get redstone. I'm just not 100% certain how, 
um, other than the fact that I know that you have to basically feed stuff into it, and eventually it will output a piece of redstone. I don't know how much or what you need to feed into it to, do, to make that happen. I'm guessing it's probably cobblestone, and I think it might be a stack. But I hesitate to experiment with that, so I am going to look that up um, just because... <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if that kind of thing would show up here. Let's see. Uh, let me take a little look here. Use. No, dang it. I forgot to... <laughs> I always do that. I always forget to clear this little thing here so that when I hit the U, it um, shows it. See, here's the problem. Okay. <laughs> When you craft the alcust with a piece of dirt, you hit the alcust, which means it eats the dirt. Uh, same with cobblestone. I think it's going to show me that on every single one. So it's not going to actually show me what result you get. Like, you, you feed diamonds into it and nothing happens. I'm sure you get something at some point, but I don't know how much. So, yeah, it's not going to... It's not going to show me anything. So I'm going to have to look that up and see because I hesitate to experiment with resources that are, quite frankly, um, scarce enough as it is. Um, let me go ahead. Where'd that come from? Let me go ahead and clear this out here real quick. Don't, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Double our output. Theoretically, I could even get into things like Thomcraft, um, which would be really interesting to see how I would handle that, considering you need a ton of materials of all types in order to research things in Thomcraft in order to learn how to do them. So I'm not certain how that would even work, but I could certainly give it a, give it a shot. Um, I wonder... Fence. No... There we go. Um, no. Stone wall. There we go. Cobblestone. That's just six. Okay. Ooh. I don't think I have time to get over there and put some wall around the outside, so that means most everything that spawns over there tonight is just going to die. So, that sucks. But oh well. And as we end this day with the soothing hissing sound of cobblestone being destroyed rather than being made useful, uh, we'll go ahead and end this episode. Let me go ahead and swing around here. All right, guys, so if you are enjoying this, and I certainly hope that you are, um, then please uh, leave any comments or suggestions in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to call me an idiot if I say something wrong, because I'm, I'm, I usually am. Uh, make sure that you subscribe if you, if you have not already done so, and uh, slap that like button like I stole something, and we will catch you guys next time.